The lower artery system is actually a little bit easier to identify than the lower vein system. And indeed, it's going to be a lot easier to identify than the upper artery system because one of the biggest reasons is because that this, these arteries will run over the top of the vein system. So it's a little bit more uh, in your face and you can see it a lot easier. We've got the abdominal aorta as it comes down. Now we removed a lot of the digestive system so we could see some of these, so I'll explain a couple things. We do have a gastric artery which runs to the stomach. We have hepatic arteries which run, there's actually a couple of them that will run to the liver itself. We have a splenic, which will run to the spleen. We also have superior mesenteric, which is going to be kind of the upper viscera. Um, a lot of those have been removed up in this area. So we're going to pick up the story where we can start to see some of the organs in place. And one of the first set of arteries that we'll see is right here. And it actually runs underneath. The vein is on top in this case but it will run to the top part of this gland that sits right on top of the kidney. This gland is called the suprarenal gland, or the adrenal gland is what you probably have heard it for. Um, the artery that feeds this, I have not pulled it out of the mesentery, but it's sitting right here. That is called the, the adrenal lumbar artery. Now, the artery that feeds into the kidney itself is called the renal artery. Now at this point, the vein is still sitting on top, but as we work our way down, all of a sudden, we see that the artery will make its way on top, making our lives a lot easier. As we work our way down, we're going to be seeing, I'll move this duct from the kidney out of the way, we're going to be seeing an artery that feeds into the ovary itself. Okay, so this is going to be a genital. You're going to find it has a different track if it's a male cat. So it, that genital is going to be a little bit trickier when we see those just because of the, uh, the sex of the cat. But we keep on working our way down. We're going to be seeing uh, an inferior mesenteric right here, artery. And that's been cut away because obviously we removed the intestines uh, for the cat as well. So this is the inferior mesenteric. And then we find another one of our landmarks. The landmark in this case is going to be right at the crest of the ileum itself. So this is the iliolumbar branch, uh, iliolumbar artery. Now when we take a look at those arteries, we see a division. This division will actually make a Y here. It'll continue down and make a Y here on the inside as well. So you can see it nice and clear in this picture. So that'll really help out. We want to be able to see those. Unlike the cat uh, with the vein system, we saw a common iliac. Uh, that will branch off into an internal and external. With the artery system, it'll branch into external and internal right away. This first branch is going to be the external iliac. What it's going to do is it's going to go right into the leg. So we'll follow that down a little bit more later. The internal, or this inside one, these are the internal iliacs. Okay, what this internal iliac is going to do is it's going to branch again into the superior and inferior gluteals which are going to be a little bit trickier to see but we can see here's the superior, here's the inferior gluteals and it'll actually continue straight down into a caudal which will feed into the tail. Obviously since the tail has muscles and vertebrae and everything else we need to supply that with blood so here is your caudal, uh, caudal artery as well. Now let's back up a little bit and we'll go and follow the external iliac track. Now as we do that, what we're going to see is it's going to take the exact same pathway as the vein. So here's my external iliac. It's going to branch into a deep femoral. And once we see it goes past the deep femoral, we'll see on the other side, we'll see a lateral femoral right here. After that point, what it's going to do is it's going to make its way to the femoral proper. So this is the formal, femoral branch from here to here. And what we'll see after that is that this will branch down just like with the vein. This will branch down into the muscular artery right here. And it'll actually branch three times after that point. So we're going to be seeing a muscular. We're going to be seeing that it follows down to the saphenous. And we're going to be seeing the articular. Articular is going to be up under the sartorius, 
following the vastus medialis muscle. So the saphenous vein is going to fall all the way down the length of the leg. You can see it, the vein is pretty prominent here. The artery kind of loses its coloring, but it runs right alongside. So the saphenous goes all the way down, one of the longer ones we've got. And then the muscular is going to be going into the semimembranosus. We had the gracilis sitting right over the top of that. So working our way backwards, we have the saphenous. We have the articular that's going to be going up. We have the muscular, which is going down. So from that point up to here, we're going to be finding femoral. Then at the femoral junction, we're going to be seeing one going to the lateral femoral right here. And we're going to be finding the one that goes medially to a deep femoral. And this one goes quite deep. It goes into the, into the pelvic cavity itself. It's going to be working its way up to the internal and external iliacs.